I told you there was a smartphone out there that has a larger screen, has Android OS, and is cheaper than the iPhone 5 and Samsung S4, would you buy it? How about if it was made in China? The Wall Street Journal's Yunhee Kim checks the specs on Lenovo's K900 with Asia Pacific President Milko Vandel. You just roll out the K900 smartphone, which is available in China, but you're launching it in emerging markets like Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand. Can you first talk a little bit about how different the phone is compared to some of the devices out there in the market today? This is the K900, which is a uh, 162 grams. It's got a steel metal casing. It's got a, uh, one of the widest camera angled lenses with the highest quality screens that there are available in the industry and it's only 6.9 millimeters thick, so very, very thin, very light, and a five and a half inch screen. So this is one of the largest screen in the industry without calling it a phablet or so. Uh, this is a premium product. Now it goes for about 500 to 700 dollars, depending on the market. Um, that seems to be a little bit pricey um, when you're targeting consumers in emerging markets. So talk to us a little bit about your pricing strategy and how you plan to kind of get consumers to switch over from the iPhone, for example. Yes, that every country or every market, the premium price still has a certain bandwidth, right? So it is right smack in very competitively priced within each and every one of those segments to compete against Samsung and, uh, Samsung and Apple. Lenovo smartphone is like having Kobe right in your pocket. Elegant. When consumers think about Lenovo, they think about the ThinkPad, which is your PC brand. And it's hard to think about Lenovo and smartphones. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing in terms of building your brand brand and smartphones. Everything we want to launch, we launch in China first. And the reason is the brand position. Brand is incredibly important. It gives people a feeling of quality, stylishness, design, and familiarity with the product. That's also the reason why in Asia Pacific, we launched in Indonesia and particularly India. India, we have one of the highest brand considerations outside of China, and that we feel is a condition for success. And that's also why we are spending a lot of money and time with Kobe Bryant for to have endorsement and to appeal to the millennials, to appeal to people who, you know, see ultimate in sports, you know, a person who has achieved a lot as a product that can achieve a lot from a company that has already achieved a lot in Asia. But getting somebody like Kobe Bryant must be really expensive. So are you beefing up your marketing expenses as you're trying to build up? your smartphone brands? Well, two things to that. One is some people, you'd be surprised, some people would like to be associated with our company, which is one of the things that I'm very proud of. We have to increase our marketing budgets, and we don't have a marketing budget uh, as an Apple or, or a Samsung, needless to say. So you have to be smart. You have to pinpoint markets, but you do need to invest in branding as the brand in today's time becomes more and more of a different shape. 